Hello friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Corina and today I have my bullet journal set up for 2023 for you. I am using this notebook therapy journal in the Matcha Matcha limited edition. It has 176 pages in an A5 side. It has 160 GSM paper, which is super important to me because I like to draw a lot in my journal and I used a notebook therapy journal for the last half of 2022 which I really loved. It was the Sakura journey journal <laughs> and yeah this is the journal for this month. Here are just some little details about it like the quote in the back and all the images that are on the journal on the side and on the cover. And I'm super excited to start a new journal because new journals always give me the feeling of new beginnings and every year is a new beginning obviously. But yeah, let's start right into journaling. I choose the theme of just some outlined leaves in black and some green abstract bubbles if you can call it like that. When you saw my last bullet journal setup there I did the same just in a pink color. And I started with my grid spacing paper. I did. I saw this idea by Elizabeth, Elizabeth, like the plant-based bride. I hope this was right. I'm not sure right now. And yeah, there you have just some grid spacing that you can flip out of the journal so you can see it on every page. That's my cat. Sorry, she's interrupting me always. But yeah, so here's my cover page for the new year. I've decided for in simple hello 2023 page and I made the hello and the key in a cursive font and the numbers in an I don't know what this font is called right now sorry but I think you know this from a lot of journal persons <laughs> and for the outlines I used a Posca pen because this is a bit more black than the water paste pens and then I filled it in with a Tombow for the Nusuke so the outline stand out a little bit. My key is the same as every year I have. It is I believe almost the same as in the original bullet journal method. Here's a little cat break. She is always with me when I'm filming. I have a feeling she loves to interrupt me and here you can see really good how I did the leaves and I made them exactly the same like the numbers so I outlined them with a Posca pen and filled the leaves in with a Tomo Fudin is okay. So let's go to the next page and you may notice right now that this isn't the page that you expected for example at future look and that's because I made my whole journal a little bit different than normally and I didn't stick with the typical bullet journal setup pages. I sticked with only pages that are good for myself and that won't overwhelm me and some pages I will really use and need. So here we have my goals page where I will write a letter to my future self about all the goals that I want to achieve this year. And on the right side we've got a big to-do list for the things I have to do on a daily basis because I think it's not necessary to write them down every day because for example vacuum or 
I don't know, laundry, these are things that I will do on a schedule on a daily basis or twice a week. So I just have some sections for daily to-dos, to-dos for twice a week, weekly to-dos and for to-dos that I have to do every second week. Because this way it's just easier for me to be organized and also for my boyfriend to be organized to see what we have to do on a daily basis. And I don't spend a lot of time to rewrite them every day or every week. So yeah, that's this page. My next page is my daily routine page. I did it a little bit different than before. Before I had one page for my morning routine and one page for my evening routine. But this was just too much space so I put them all in one page and I sectioned it into morning routine, evening routine and self-care routine. Because on some days I feel like I want to do a lot of self-care today. I want to do something good for myself and then I have a little routine which I can stick to and keep going to for example for skincare or for meditation or anything and on the right side we've got my social media page with a, which I also categorized so I have a section for growth so I can see how many followers or subscribers I had at the beginning of the year and how many at the end of the year or halfway through the year then I've got a section for my goals and section for my schedule so what I need to do in case to post a whole video and a section for my monthly posts for example my bullet journal setups or my reading wrap ups or anything that I really post every month so I just can check if I had all of the all of the posts that I have the goal to post every month <laughs> and the last page already is my affirmation page I didn't fill out the affirmations on the page because this will just take too long and I believe it's a little bit boring. But if you're interested in the affirmations I want to use on a daily basis for the next year, then you just can check out my Instagram. I will post them there so you can get a little bit of inspiration which affirmations you can use to feel better or to feel more grateful or anything. I will also categorize them. And on the right side, I just got a quote which says, I hope the morning sun continues to remind you, you are worthy of new beginnings. I loved the quote. I loved all about it. The morning sun really always gives me feelings that, yeah, that a day starts good. So from my window, I can see when the sun rises, and my boyfriend has to go to work really early. And then maybe some days I'm awake already and can see the sunrise, which is so beautiful. And yeah, I loved the quote with all my heart. And since this is the last page of this video, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you remind yourself always that you don't need to do things like everybody does it. Like for example, the setup wasn't a typical bullet journal setup with a future log or a yearly overview or anything. The most important thing for bullet journaling and for your life is to make it just how you feel the best and how it makes you happy because in the end you decide how you want to live your life. And now this is the last flip through of the page. If you enjoyed my video I would love if you subscribe to my channel and I promise I will try to post weekly videos from now on or from 2023 on because I really love to talk in my videos about books and journaling. It makes me so happy and I hope it makes you happy as well. So if you have any ideas for new videos, leave them down in the comments and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.